How to disable reset my PC feature. If your computer is far slower than it once was, you have a malware infection that you can't remove or plan to sell your machine, a reset is the most convenient option. Depending on your setup and installed version of Windows, you have a few different ways to factory reset a Windows laptop or desktop. 1. Reset Windows using the built-in method. In Windows 11, you have more than one way to reset the PC to its factory settings. You can open Settings, System, Recovery, or Settings, Windows Updates, Advanced Options, Recovery. Either way, click Reset PC next to the Reset This PC option. To reset your PC in Windows 10, click the Start menu and select the gear icon in the lower left to open up the Settings window. You can also select the Settings app from the app list. Under Settings, click Update and Security, Recovery, then select Get Started under Reset This PC. To open the Reset This PC feature window directly, simply use the System Reset.exe command from the Run menu. System Reset.exe in the Windows. System 32 inch is responsible for reset process. You can't delete it but you can try to blocking it. Access to see Windows. System 32. System Reset.exe is denied by default for domain users. Reset My PC is only shows as an option if the user has administrator rights on the local PC or the domain. 2. Factory Reset Windows from Boot Using Advanced Methods To run a Windows Factory Reset from Boot, in case you can't get into Windows normally for example, you can start a Factory Reset from the Advanced Startup menu. To launch this menu if Windows is working properly, on Windows 11, go to Settings System Recovery and click Restart now next to Advanced Startup. On Windows 10 Visit Settings, Update and Security, Recovery. Under the Advanced Startup section, click Restart Now to reboot into Advanced Startup. Alternatively, you can open the Start menu and expand the Power menu there, then hold down the Shift key as you click the Restart button. In case you can't do either of these, try pressing F11 as you boot, which will open Advanced Startup on some systems. Failing this, Windows will launch Advanced Startup on its own after three failed boots allowing you to reset from boot if there's a major problem. The command reagent.exe slash disable can be run with admin privileges to disable Windows Recovery Environment, WinRe. To check Windows Recovery Environment status in Windows, 1. Open a new command prompt as administrator. 2. Type or copy paste the reagent slash info command and hit the enter key to execute it. 3. See the value next to the Windows RE status line. It should say either enabled or disabled. If you want to make the reset this PC option invisible to all users, including administrators, and disable the Windows recovery environment feature available during boot, you can use the free and portable no recovery application. Download the software from the link below the video and extract it from the zip file. When you run the software for the first time, you will see a pop-up message that says, the recovery option in PC settings has been removed. This means that you have disabled the reset this PC feature. If you want to return to the default settings, Run the program again. The message the recovery option is set to default indicates that you have returned to the Windows default settings. Important note, Windows Recovery Environment, Windows RE, can be used to restore access to a BitLocker protected drive. If a device is unable to boot after two failures, startup repair will automatically start, so we recommend that you do not disable Windows Recovery Environment if you are using BitLocker.